Because they were the ones who preserved the proper pronunciation of the name of God, Yahweh. And they are not the same as the Jews in that case. So, I will give you something to talk. Therefore, when it comes to pronunciation, kung gusto lang natin malaman talaga exact kung hindi ka, it is more from Yahweh. In fact, kung ang mga pansin hindi sa presentation niya, wala akong copy ng presentation niya, Doon yung Kino Tim Codex Reingra na ginagamit ng mga Bible scholars to translate the Old Testament. Napansin niyo ba yung tatanggang ito with the uh, Hebrew script, Hebrew script, script, sa ilalim na kalagay, I-E-U-E, Yahweh. Tapos sa ilalim ni Yahweh. Kaya nga, they, uh, they, they uh, use it as a Hebrew script. Even the Hebrew scholars, the, the one who, look, those were the Jewish rabbis, yung Matthew, yung, 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 yung Codex Reingra na yung copy ng Old Testament. For them, they use Yahweh. Tapos hindi ko sa presentation niya, they use Yahweh. And for me, as much as possible, I'm not a Jewish scholar. I'm not a Jewish scholar. I will not uh, insist that I have more learning than them. Sa so, Bible, you know, they have interest in the organs of God. So I think, based on what he presented, Ms. Monaki Tanyo, to sa present niya, nakalagay Yahweh. So, I was surprised guys, I said, what the hell did you not come with? Tapos, yung wala, nagayon din siya, yun namin ang presentation. Okay? Ngayon, ayon sa Oxford Essential Guide to Ideas and Issues of the Bible, page 488, it is probable that the first part of why it's the way it was pronounced here. The act, vowel, in the Greek report, in the Greek transcription in Christian times, historical act. And the second, yung E, ito, bakit E ang ginamit ng mga The assonance with A, yes, I am in Exodus 3.14. Remember in Exodus 3.14, yung tinanong ni Moses, Lord, anong sasabihin kong pangalan mo? Sa mga Israel dito, pag tinanong ako ng pangalan, then then, I am what I am. Sa Hebrew is, I am here, as here, I am here. Yung A, doon siya pala gali yung wet. Doon sa second part ng chapter ng Nakasar. If Yahweh is shortened by the origin of A, the natural result of Hebrew is Yahweh. Kaya yung sinasabi ng Yahuwa, at yung uh, mas accurate, yung Yahweh tamang ginagamit yun, pero in a shorter form. Pagka paikliin ang pangalan ito, pero pagka mga bagay, Yahweh na. Okay? So, yun ang sabi rin ito sa akin ng essential time. Okay. Now, uh, meron ako papamita rin ito sa inyo na uh, testimony from early uh, historian si Josephus. Si Josephus na isang uh, priest at historian ng no first century, kasabay ng mga apostol. Meron siyang patutuwa tungkol sa divine names. Ito sabi ni Josephus. Doon sa kanyang book na Wars of the Jews sa book 5, chapter 5, verse 7. Si Josephus, first century historian. Ang mga apostol, buhay pa mga apostol. Historian siya. At the same time, Jewish priest. Ang mga Jewish priest, they are only the ones who are allowed to hear and use the proper name of God. So si Josephus, meron siya nasabi. Yung, kaya dinisirag niya yung suot ng high priest during this time. Sabi niya, his head was covered by prayer of high priest, written with no inserting it from another crowd of God, where all were imposed the sacred letters to it for power. Teka, hindi ba ang YXWS ay consonants? Pero bakit sinabi ni Josephus na ito ay for power? Kasi po, yung character sa libro na YXWS, your name, wow name, it also functions as power. Yun ang hindi alam ng tawag niya. Kaya iba, kala niya na, kung consonant yung YXWS, kaya dadalhin ko sila ngayon, para sa kaya yung ginawa niya sa kanilang interpretation, yung age, yung letter kanila ng news. But the four letters, it's not so easy to be said, because I agree, who knows the proper relationship of God during the first century, or when I was called, sabi nga, it is the four powers. What does it mean? Josephus, the temple of Ira, Jewish historian recorded that the high priest of the temple had four powers of his head covering. It equates with the Greek, Yahweh. The four powers, I-A-U-E, are considered by the majority of the scholars are able to be sounded as Yahweh or Yahweh. Most likely, the most accurate pronunciation is Yahweh. So therefore, back up with the Jewish scriptures and authorities. And now, let's talk about that.